We've been busy taking you down the path of completely eliminating unwanted behaviors. In other words, wiping problem behaviors off the face of your home. We went into detail regarding the four functions of behavior. We discussed identifying the key components of behavior and the moments surrounding it. This is done using the ABCs of behavior. If you haven't yet watched those videos, I highly suggest you begin there. Like anything in life, nothing can change without knowledge. So if you've already watched those videos, you're most likely thinking, great. How can we completely eliminate unwanted behaviors that are driving me bonkers? Well, today we're going to discuss that very topic. Welcome to this episode of Special Education Parenting Tips. Using the ABCs of behavior, most teaching or learning happens during the antecedent or the period of time leading up to the behavior. If you remember the example we used in our previous video, little Johnny wanted a cookie from his mom. He went about this desire in three different stages until he received the consequence he wanted, the cookie. First, he asked his mom nicely for a cookie. She said no. Second, he demanded a cookie from mom. She said no. Last, he threw a temper tantrum and mom gave him the cookie. We determined that the ABCs in this scenario are, one, the antecedent, little Johnny asking for a cookie. Two, behavior, the temper tantrum. Three, consequence, getting the cookie. Now let's discuss how to either change or eliminating unwanted behaviors. First, we must understand that all teaching takes place in the antecedent. When someone is emotionally charged, zero new information will be absorbed. Behaviors are mostly always emotionally charged situations. Don't worry, there's plenty that can be done during a behavior too. We'll be tackling that as well. Using our example and remembering that true teaching takes place only during the antecedent or the first time Johnny asked for a cookie, today we will tackle two different options for eliminating unwanted behaviors, both of which take place during the antecedent. The first is replacement strategies, changing the behavior, not the function. Number two is choices. Give two scenarios that each have the same desired outcome. Replacement strategies are methods of getting your child to engage in an acceptable behavior instead of a negative one while maintaining the same outcome. A great philosophy for replacement strategies in behavior is using the first then language. In our example, you could instruct Johnny to first use the word please then you will give him a cookie. It's vital that you immediately reinforce that desired behavior with a shower of positive praise, and in this case, the cookie he wanted. Now here's an important tip. Use language children understand. For example, if little Johnny is five years old and doesn't understand what a complete sentence is, don't instruct him to use a complete sentence. This will only lead to confusion and ultimately frustration. The other option is giving him choices. If ultimately you don't mind Johnny having a snack, but prefer that it isn't a cookie, use that. Offer him two choices. In our example, you could start out by saying, little Johnny, I know you're hungry, but it's almost dinner time. You can either one, have an apple now while I start dinner, or have a cookie after dinner. I'm making your favorite, pizza. Choices work very well, however, be careful. Once you offer a choice, once it leaves your mouth, you have to follow through. Too often parents will use choices in a threatening manner and then won't follow through. An example I heard recently is you either stop wetting your pants for the whole weekend, this is a child who is definitely potty trained, the wedding was a behavior, or we aren't going to Disneyland next week. Now this parent had no intention of following through and the child knew that. So she wet her pants and the family went to Disneyland. Don't worry, this was pre-COVID-19. A few additional ways of changing behavior while teaching during the antecedent are number one, making a dreaded task fun, like sing songs, like the cleanup song. Turn the task into a game, clean up king or queen. Next is teach children to ask for breaks. An example is during homework, ask for a break when frustration kicks in. Now I've said it before, and I will say it again because it is so 
important. Learning cannot take place during times of heightened emotions. Before moving on to the next phase of completely eliminating unwanted behaviors, watch the first two videos in the series again. In the next video, we will be covering what actions you as a parent take during the actual behaviors. There will be many times early on that teaching moments during the antecedent are missed and unwanted behaviors do surface. There's a very successful method to overcoming these behaviors and allowing all of your hard work to continue building momentum. Stay tuned for part three of our series, Basics in Behavior, ABA Style. From all of us at specialedresource.com, thank you for watching this episode of Special Education Parenting Tips. We'll catch you in the next video. Thank you for watching this video until the end. Please take a moment, give us a thumbs up. Your support means the world to us. If there's a specific topic you're interested in, please leave a comment. Until then, enjoy these other videos designed to help parents navigate the crazy world of special education. Thank you.